Okay, Ruth Bretley. I, I think yeah. I want to look at, at it differently because the current matters have already been tabled. I want <coughs> to take you back to 2010, 2010 actually during the, uh, the, the current uh, constitution that we, uh, the referendum or the, 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 uh, how we brought the constitution mm -hmm. came into being. Yeah. If you look at 10, 2010 actually when the constitution came into to be, it was during the President Kibaki's regime. And during yeah. President Kibaki regime, the reason, I, 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 the, one of the main reasons that we see that we cannot ignore is some of the issues that happened in 2007, 2008. And at that point, Jesse, there needed to be a lot of dialogue, collaboration. In this country, even as we look at how the political divides are, there is no way that leadership can go on without collaboration in terms of ensuring that some of these roles that are being uh, proposed come into being. And the reason why I'm saying that is because whenever there is no collaboration in this country, even economically, where I'm coming from strongly, you, economically the country does very badly, actually. You, we, uh, uh, if we can, for example, even look at, for example, the other general election when uh, uh, Azimio uh, and Frederick is here. I don't know if he went to the road to, <laughs> to do some of these demonstrations, you know. Mm -hmm. And you could tell whether it was being seen as an, a minority, which is not, because it's a bigger minority. Uh, the economic of this country was at standstill. There are people actually who are really interested in, ter in terms of how they can turn around uh, the businesses and the economy of this country. And that cannot happen without some of these amendments that are being spoken about here today and especially in the amendment of the constitution. We are now 2024 is exactly 15 years later and I know there are some others that had been already brought in uh, the direction even where the president went to a no, uh, especially in the uh, because it was being viewed a lot as issues of worship and things like that. But in this perspective especially because of the uh, for example even the position of say the prime CS, the reason why it's being called the prime CS is because it won't to be seen as a bit elevated but the constitution does not clearly allow to have that function very elevated. But in the current political divide, especially even if we look at how people can vote differently, say today the mountain vote with Luo, there are still a bigger majority of the, of the Rift Valley. And with that in mind, and for the future of this country, okay. and to ensure there is cohesion, I think those amendments need to be done, and we'll see that maybe according to, uh, maybe in those 45 days we see the And, and in your view as we finalize, are these yeah. amendments what really Kenyans, and I know he mentioned the intricate process of uh, public participation and whatnot. But when the cost of living is not there, this might look as a political class report. If I can put it that Unfortunately, way. Yeah. I can say that unfortunately. They normally say if you want to hide something uh, from an African, put it in a book. And the Constitution is one book. I remember when the Constitution came, it was taken everywhere. I'm sure no one knows where that book is right now for those who are given those Constitution books. But what I'm going to say, that the interest, um, the reason why you can see when the county governments are struggling today is because people are not keen in reading the things that guide them, you know, the policies, the rules, the rules of law. So that means we are being led, it's like a blind leading a blind, okay. because people are not really structured and committed to the rule of law. But at the end of the day, uh -huh. I think the, the other thing that the government or, or the leadership, because I'm saying leadership because it's both sides, the leadership has not done well in this country over the years in communication. Some of these major issues have not gone to the ground. People to be able to know what is going on. Jesse, on the issue of cost of living, because earlier around you asked that question,